It's Saturday, August 29th, 2020. Welcome to Cage Stage. Breitbart News posted a video yesterday, and it's, it's extremely telling. It shows a police officer protecting a, a barricaded area as Antifa and BLM activists are in his face. They're, they're yelling and cursing at him, and they're attempting to force him to wear a mask. Now, obviously, this officer doesn't have a mask on. He doesn't seem to, to need one. It doesn't bother him. He's doing just fine, doing his job. But uh, these activists, they couldn't handle that. It was just too much for them. They were triggered. When I imagine a dystopian society, I picture a police state where officers are violating citizens' rights on behalf of the tyrannical government state. And though we're currently living through some unparalleled times and events, our reality is slightly different from the typical dystopian society that you might see in a George Orwell novel or a Aldous Huxley novel. This news story from Breitbart shows citizens, not police, acting as tyrannical autocrats. Now, of course, we're talking about Antifa types. Uh, you know, you, you've seen them all over the place. They're, they're leftist aggravators who are really not peacefully protesting. Uh, that's what the media would like us to believe. But um, rather, they're, they're acting in the same manner as Hitler's brown coat activists would have acted. Um, very similar as far as their approach to moving things left, to getting things done, um, they, they use very extremely similar tactics. These aggravators, they're young. They display a clear inability to think critically. They're clearly brainwashed into thinking if anyone doesn't wear a mask, the world's gonna immediately end. Now, anyone with at least two brain cells knows that that is not the case. We've been fed lies through, uh, through, through the media, um, fake news. They've been, they've been at this for months. Uh, I mean, since the whole COVID thing began, they've been just feeding us lies it is, as an attempt to, uh, to do exactly what they've done with these young folks, uh, to brainwash society. Um, it's been basically an attempt at this great American takeover. Uh, they wanna take everything over, destroy it, tear it down again so they can rebuild it in their own image. Uh, this is what they're after. They've taken our rights and they continue to take them. They're becoming increasingly hostile, um, not just the useful idiots that they're using, but I'm talking about the government itself, uh, they're, they're out of bounds. They're out of line, no question about it. And I, I think this video is just evidence that these, these young adults, they're, they're so susceptible to brainwashing and they are truly acting as tyrants. It, it, it's amazing. Um, they're so susceptible because they've just come out of public school and, or college. They're, they're young adults. They've, um, they've clearly been indoctrinated with Marxist ideology and they, they have no ability to think. They're, everything is emotionally driven. They're freaking out. They're flipping out like a toddler would. And, and so it, it is amazing to see this, to witness this, I, I do ask that y'all please watch the, the link uh, to this video. It, it's in the description. Please watch it, the Breitbart story. It's, it's just so telling. 
Um, I actually watched it last night and I was so frustrated by it. I, I needed the night to have a, a good rest before I decided to make this video. But I, I do ask that you watch it because I, I haven't heard a lot about it yet. Maybe by the time I put this video out, more folks will be talking about this, but I was kind of shocked that it wasn't getting the, the coverage that I, I think it should have gotten. Um, it, it's not getting the, ex the proper exposure. That's truly why I decided to do this video. Um, the, the agitators, they're threatening the officer. And, and I wanna say this, this officer should highly be commended. Um, man, I have much respect for this officer because, man, these agitators are in his face. They're um, shoving a mask in his face. They're attempting to force him to put it on. And listen to what they're saying. I mean, as they're cursing him, they're telling him that he's gonna go home and kill his, his kids. They're, his kids are gonna die because he, he refuses to wear a mask. And, and it, it is, it's truly unbelievable. Uh, again, please watch it. Um, but I, I will say that the key moment in this video is, like always, um, the hypocrisy of the left is on full display. Um, the primary antagonist, so to speak, he looks over at his partner in crime and the camera pans over to him. And his, his buddy who he's with, you guessed it. <laughs> He didn't have a mask over his face. I mean, he's sitting there with, with a mask down on his chin and he's talking directly into his, his buddy's face and forcefully talking. I mean, I'm sure there's saliva particles hitting his buddy uh, right in the nose, uh, but that, that doesn't matter. It, no, it doesn't matter. It's this police officer who we're attacking right now, he needs to wear the mask because we are in charge what we say goes and the officer clearly wasn't going and they weren't too happy about that. So again, hypocrites. And as always, the tyrants, they want us to submit, but they don't even submit to the own rules that they are attempting to force on us. It's truly exhausting. Well, for those of us who are believers and we are in Christ Jesus thank God thank God for Jesus and his his great mercy and his grace just I'm so thankful for that because things are so out of control right now in America that um, if if it wasn't for Jesus I'd probably go out of my mind um, but he does, he keeps us. And so let's thank him for that. Um, once again, grace and peace. And I'll see you soon in the next video.